Ninety Defiants and the other Wave viewers are divided over whether Ariel and Binium have a future together. But the two are engaged, and Ariel has just revealed that they filmed their entire season just to make Binium famous. Ariella Weinberg and Beniam Shebre are one of this season's most eye-catching couples. Towards the end of season 2, they were one of the show's most talked about couples, second only to Brittany Banks and Yazan Abel Horira. But their litany of conflicts and problems with no obvious long-term solutions has left a lot of viewers with a lot of questions. Some of their baffling choices start to make much more sense if they did the show for fame. That's exactly what happens, according to DMs leaked by 90D FNC blogger extraordinaire John Yates. According to the fandom's favorite oracle of behind-the-scenes T, Ariella herself has admitted that they did the show for one reason only. We did the show because Benny is an entertainer, Ariella appears to confess in the screenshot shared by John Yates. She lists his skills – artist, dancer, circus performer, martial artist, etc. And, Ariella explains, I wanted the world to see his talent. Ariella wanted to get Binium seen and noticed and get him opportunities. So he has some scene showcasing that, she notes reference to the scene of Binium's sexy nightclub performance. His song wasn't his intro package, Ariella adds. So I'm hoping that we'll get his music video a lot of views and we can sell his song, she says of their end game goals. She goes on to note that Usman Umar has had some success after his 90D fiancé season. Earlier, the Hollywood gossip speculated that Ariel and Bini were remaining in Ethiopia temporarily and not actually planning to live there for the rest of their lives. They said that based upon what appeared to be clues. This unsurprising revelation is yet another clue that points to plans to live in the US at some point. Becoming famous, even mildly so, can be an amazing receipt for success as a performer. Larissa Lima is making bank these days through OnlyFans. Plenty of 90D Fiancé stars are ranking in tens of thousands of dollars just by doing cameos. But the comparison to Usman is interesting because Usman was viewed very favorably by 90D Fiancé fans. Part of the reason for that was that baby girl Lisa Hamm took on an antagonistic role when she was exposed as a slur-spewing racist. On top of that, however, suspicions that Usman might be a scammer were never enough for viewers to perceive him to be a villain. At the beginning of the season, Binium struck viewers as a very soft-spoken, kind, sweet and respectful person. Much of that is true. It also didn't hurt that he's cute, albeit not nearly as handsome as he was when he and Ariella first hooked up. But as the season has progressed, it has become increasingly clear that Binium is not as sweet as he first appeared. Don't get us wrong, a lot of people have major issues with Ariella, enough that it was easy to see Binium as the good guy despite red flags. Ariella appeared to make impulsive, reckless decisions with herself. She also complains a lot. Some fans even sex shamed her for having sex, implying that birth control never fails when that is obviously not the case. But while winning and crying can grate on some viewers, others sympathized with her, and others were reminded that editing can make occasional tearful moments look like a daily occurrence. We only got to see these two for a few hours of total footage. They were filmed for months, editors can cherry-pick whatever they want. But the way that viewers changed their view of Binium was all about Binium. Ultimately, his gentle and calm tone of voice doesn't matter when you look at what he says and does. Time and time again, he has disparaged the mother of his child, ignoring any problem that she has or concern that she expresses, unless she whines at him non-stop. Fans have concluded that Binium is a deeply selfish person, and they're right. Let's look at the scoreboard of their relationship compromises. The circumcision. Ariella caved and agreed to go through with it, even after acknowledging that it violates her son's human rights. The baptism. Ariella is Jewish, but also agreed to the baptism after non-stop pressure from Binium and his family. Then there is the fact that, temporarily or not, Ariella uprooted her entire life to live in Ethiopia for months so that Binium could be there for his son's birth. That is a tremendous personal sacrifice, especially when she became to live with someone who now leaves the house at a moment's notice without telling her where he's going or for how long. Ariella also took the added step of becoming a reality star, exposing herself to hate and ridicule just to give Binium's career a boost. 
Every time that Ariella tries to explain to Binion why she feels one way or another about something, his response is… bad. He acts as if it's ridiculous for someone to do anything other than what he does and how he wants to do things. That's not compromise. That's not an attitude of empathy. He doesn't even appear to listen when Ariella explains why she feels the way that she does. He just insists and insists until she caves. So yeah, at the end of the day, Binium is now famous. Maybe not a household name, but famous. Maybe Ariella's plan will work and he'll be able to launch a successful music career from this. But after his antics on the show, we're not going to rush to give his performances any listens or views, are you? That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.